Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. Well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all of this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power. I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? Oh no! The power that I wanted to use! But now, the idea of resetting everything? I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Oh shit! Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. Dot, dot, dot. But if I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories too. I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later, Scooch. Ah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ah! I gotta do it! What's up everybody? My name is Scooch and welcome back to Undertale. Now we already beat the game in the neutral and the true pacifist route, which means I didn't kill or hit anything and I didn't do anything bad at all whatsoever, but now... Since it's spooked over and since everybody wants to see it, we're gonna beat the game genocide mode or genocide route I don't know what to call it and that is when you kill everything you can kill in the underground So without further ado, let's jump right into it But I think in order to jump right into it. I have to do a true reset also no spoilers I don't know anything about a uh, genocide route. Don't worry. I'm completely going into this blind, but I did connect a controller because the only thing I do know is that the boss fights get a lot harder if you're actually trying to kill things. So, let's do it. I connected a controller, so hopefully that helps me dodge things. Name the fallen human. Of course, we'll go... Hmm. Hmm. Should I be Scooch again? Or should I be Evil Scooch? I'll be Scooch with three O's. Dun dun dun! No, 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 I'm just gonna be normal Scooch. Da 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 da! Over here, C? Oh no, that's a capital C. Eh. Lowercase C. Lowercase H. And we are done! Scooch, is this name correct? Yes, it sure is. Oh god! Let's start it! Let's start it! Another thing I heard, it's obviously not a spoiler. But another thing I heard is that this game gets ridiculously feelsy when you play it on this shitty mode that should not have been implemented. Why did they give us the opportunity to be such shitty people? It's Flowey. Flowey the flower. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Flowey, you're a shit and you know it. See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Ta-da. Oh man, it's gonna be so much easier to dodge with the controller. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What does LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. I know you're a dick, Flowey. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Ah, ah, shit. <laughs> there it is, you idiot. In this world, it's kill or 
be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Okay. Die. All right, time out. Hey, hey, Flowey, we can talk about this. You were just so nice. There you go. I'm healed. Huh? <laughs> he went, eh. <laughs> what a terrible creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. And this way we shall go, Toriel. I am not excited because I know what I'm gonna have to do to you in a second. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored, save. Scooch, level one. Wow, isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy that we're all the way back here? Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have the I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press E to read signs. Got it. Z's not the button anymore. Look at this, it's labeled. Eh, Easy peasy. Now I press this one. Haha. <laughs> no, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. <laughs> Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Ha, huh, I get it. Because she's a cow. Move. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stop for time, I will come and resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. I'm not ready. I gotta kill it. You encounter the dummy. Fight. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Ah, the dummies are not for fighting. They are for talking. We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Come on now. Oh my god. I know the feels are going to start soon and I'm not ready. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. And away I go. Hello? This is no puzzle. Frog, it attacks you. You won! You earned 10 XP and 20 gold. Your love increased. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Slowly but surely, Toriel. We'll make it to where we need to be. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. All right, I'm going back. Eh, 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 eh. I'm gonna see if there's anything else I could beat up over here. Because I, ha I heard I have to kill everything in every room. So I shall walk back and forth. Is there anything here? Is there anything here? Is there anything in this room? Hello? I don't see anything. All right, I guess that was the only thing in this room. I'll try one more cycle through the room to see if I run into a single thing. Hello? Any more froggets in here that I have to punch in they face? God, I know the feels are gonna come. I know I'm gonna have to hurt Toriel. I'm gonna have to hurt everyone and I'm not excited for it. I really am not excited to see how sad this game can get. Because even in the true pacifist route, I cried a lot. You have done ex excellent thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Nothing happens, right? I could be wrong. I do not remember. I haven't played this game for like a month. Yeah, nothing happens in this room. This is a very long room. It's a little bit longer than I remember. 
Anything back here? Ha! <laughs> ha! It's Toriel! I forgot she hides right there. <laughs> Greetings, my child! Do not worry, I did not leave you! I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Okay, Toriel. I will. I shall. I shall be good. When in reality, I shan't, because I'm going to have to kill everything. Ring! Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I will ha that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Click. All right. Now I gotta kill things. Hop close. Hop, hop. Ah, ah, frog it, no. Frog it. A frog it hops to and fro. You won. You earned three XP and two gold. Oh, Jesus. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Age people will be restored. I don't know what to do to like, not feel anything. <laughs> I know that's a stupid thing to say, but... Whimsum approached meekly. You won. You earned two XP and two gold. I don't know what to do to, like, keep myself from feeling so bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I heard... Another thing I know is... In the rooms, I have to kill things until it says, but nobody came, right? Frog it! Croak, croak. Ugh. Frog it, no! Oh, frog it. You won. You earned three XP and two gold. Oh, no! It hurts to do this! Frog it, hop close. Croak, croak. Oh, jeez. This is not good. This is really not good. I do not like this. I don't like this feeling one bit. You won. You earned 3 XP and 2 gold. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is gonna hurt all the way through. I know it. I know it! But I could just... If I just convince myself that none of this is real and it's all a bad dream, then... Then I shouldn't feel bad, right? Oh, God. Where's the but nobody came speech thing? Hello? Whimsum approached. There's a lot of whimsums. There's a lot of froggets too. I always thought it was just the same one that I kept running back, like running into back and forth. But uh, I guess there's a lot of them. I guess they're a breed. Da -da -dum, da -da 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 -dum. Oh, froggit, no! I like froggit so much, so hitting them sucks. And that noise it makes when you hit them is just depressing. The, the, eh! It's really depressing. Your love increased. Ooh. How many more of these do I have to kill? I wonder how long this will take. But nobody came. I think that means I cleared the room, right? Does that mean I cleared the room or does that mean I cleared the ruins? It just says determination now? What? It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. You took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. I don't need the candy. Take one. Take a candy? Yes. You took more candy. How disgusting. Take one. Take a candy? Yes. You take another piece of candy. You feel like the scum of the earth. Take one. Take a candy? Yes. You took too much too fast. The candy spills onto the floor. Look at what you've done. Oh my god. This game really fucking sticks it to you, huh? <laughs> like, I just took extra candy and now... But nobody came. Oh, it cleared the whole ruins! Okay, no wonder it took so long. Well, the good news is that, uh, that at least I don't have to walk back and forth every room for an hour. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. 
For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, let's just do cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. But nobody came. Oh. I mean, it sucks that I killed everything, but I will admit, I'm glad I don't have to walk back and forth in every room. Uh, three out of four gray rocks recommend you to push them. Da -da 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 -da, three out of four. One of them doesn't. Oh, no. But nobody came. This is the puzzle that everyone got mad at me for. Go all the way to right, go all the way down, right, up, right, down, whatever. Okay. All right. That's the puzzle everyone was like, holy shit, Scooch is dumb. All right. Now right, and now up, and now right, and now down, and then... Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't look at the other parts. And all the way down, and then fucking... God, donut. I was so close. <laughs> all right, let's go. Again. Right, all the way down. Right. No! God damn it! I knew I was getting too close! <laughs> I fucking know how to solve this, and I'm still very bad. It's so hard to be optimistic and, like, happy when the song is like, Hey, just so you know, you killed everything. You're a piece of shit, you know that? All the way down, all the way right, all the way up. There you go. God, it's really hard to be cheerful when this is happening! I killed so many things, and I'm not done! I'm gonna kill so much more things. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, think I got it. Yeah, a rock. Was that helpful? Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. I'm just amazed that you're a sentient rock. I'm still amazed that you're a sentient rock. Determination. Ah! This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Oh, here's Nubstabluk. Nubstabluk, no, I really don't want to kill Nubstabluk. I like him so much, and he's so, so sad. Leave 7G in the web? Yes. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Leave 18G in the web? Yes. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a jug. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to the real spiders. Okay. Well, good to know that I'm going to have to kill Muffet, right? Muffet was the name of the spider queen. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. But nobody came. But nobody came. To be fair, this uneasiness is making Spooktober a lot more, uh, spooky, I guess. Ring, hello. I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You will want to leave your room. You would want to leave room in your pockets for that. Okay. Okay. So now I just gotta go against her words and steal everything. There is just one switch. But nobody came. Ooh, spoopy. In here. Here's where the switch was. Damn it. It was right to the left. I sucks. What are these slots anyways? Like, how does Frisk get out through this little doorway and out through a sideways slot? You guys ever think of that? Frisk is very, very agile. Oh, my phone just made a noisy. Okay, what do we do now? But nobody came. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. What does this one do? It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. Ooh. Not spooky at all. But nobody came. Look here, you son of a bitch. You don't bamboozle me again, all right, yellow switch, I swear to God. But nobody came. But nobody came. You motherfucker. 
trying to remember. What the heck? But nobody came. Am I? You noticed there was a blue switch behind this. No, duh, Scooch. Come on. Come on, Scooch. How did you forget that? You're embarrassing yourself in front of your friends. Da da da. But nobody came. Okay, here we are. Nobody. You. Nobody. All right, so you must be the switch. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. Ta-da! Wow, I am dumb. <laughs> that took me way longer than it should have. Where am I now? Da -da -da. There's something up there or is there something over here? All right, let's go up there. I mean, there's not really a need for exploration because I've already killed everything, so I don't really need to check everything out. Oh, dear. That took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive. But still, I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Er, uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. The song just immediately, like, flipped on its head. And come, small one. Dun, dun, dun. A knife. I can use this to kill Toriel. You found the toy knife. That is, God, it just feels so weird saying any of this. Like, I'm trying to embrace the fact that I'm a piece of shit in this playthrough. I'm trying to embrace the evil in me, but it's hard. It's really hard. And I know killing Toriel is gonna suck. And I'm trying to just, like, not feel it. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. And I'm trying to embrace it, but holy moly, determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. It's my bedroom. Oh, Toriel, this is it. Oh, Toriel. A room of your own, I hope you like it. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, stop it. Oh, shit, it's starting to hurt. It's starting to hurt real bad. Is something burning? Um, Make yourself at home. Oh, it's starting to hurt so bad. Oh, an empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Oh, shit. This is where it starts to hurt. The song is called Home. Oh, I know that because I've been listening to the... Uh, I've been listening to the soundtrack while I edit. Oh, a box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Oh, when you turn the light off, it's the music box version of the song Home. What'd that say? Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. I know that, uh... I know that I've read all this before in my first playthrough, but it's like... You know, just get the memories going. Oh, and here's the pie! She baked me while I was asleep. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, shit. You have seen this type of plant before, but you, but you don't know its name? You have seen this type of plant before, but you do not know its name. You've seen this type of plant before, but you do not know its name. What's this? Can I say something about this? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. It's a bunch of bad jokes. If you read the passage, why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with, similar, with jokes of similar caliber. Oh, Toriel's small chair. It's named Cheriel. <laughs> Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. Would you open in the middle? Tifa, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed, seed pods. Known most commonly as water sausages. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open in the middle. I already read this. Ta da da. Ta da da. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most cinderary of plants. <laughs> Truly the most cinderary. God, I could still laugh at these jokes, but I feel bad knowing that I'm just gonna be the worst person. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. It's me, Scooch. Oh, it is a water sausage. Spoiler alert here if you didn't watch the other one. Uh, you know, skip ahead like 10 seconds. But, uh, it's weird that he says it's me, Scooch, but this is Frisk. Right? This isn't Scooch, this is Frisk. So this should say it's me, Frisk. Instead of saying it's me, Scooch, because the huge reveal at the end is that you're actually playing as Frisk and Scooch was the first fallen child. But, you know, I, I don't mean to... I don't mean to crack open the case too hard. Uh, maybe I don't get that, and if you guys get that, please let me know. Uh, 
Oh, it plays the music box version. Holy shit, I'm gonna listen to that version and cry. Oh, I'm gonna so fucking cry. Ha, oh, shit. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. Ah, oh, shit. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Because Toriel has nothing to do. Oh, God. It's a history book here, a random page. Trapped behind a barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This is our new home, which we, which we renamed home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Oh, God, that's Azrael. No, that's uh, d d Asgore. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. Oh, shit. Oh, here comes the feels, I know it. Oh, God. Up already, I see. Um, I wanted you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins. I have to be a dick. Ah, ow. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called the radula? Interesting. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Oh, God. She's going to try to break the exit. And that's what I'm gonna have to do the thing! Size of the pie intimidates you too much to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use mat fire magic instead. Where are the knives? Oh, I've never seen red text like that before. Cause I'm evil now. There is some white fur stuck in a drain. For some reason, there is a brand named chocolate bar in the fridge. Oh God, I'm starting to get evil texts. That's why I should click on everything because maybe I'll get more text, you know? More text I've never read before. Oh god, that's sad as shit that I'm slowly becoming evil as hell. You wish to know to how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the ends of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. I can't, Toriel. I'm gonna have to give you the hands. Oh shit. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they... Asgore will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Ah, it's gonna hurt so much to do this. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Oh, Toriel. Oh, God, you're about to receive a shipment out of, of the hands. Oh, you want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove it to me that you are strong enough to survive. I equipped it the knife, right? Ah, oh, Toriel blocks the way. Whoops. Immediately? Y you really hate me that much? I was not expecting the immediate one. Now I see who I was protecting by keeping you here. Not you, but them. Ha. Ha. Holy shit! I've killed Toriel before. My first time ever trying this game, and then I reset it, because I didn't want to kill her. And she normally does a big speech. Uh, I have the video on my channel if you scroll back far enough. Uh, of my first attempt, and then it just got cancelled, and then I started again, and that's when I did the pacifist route. Uh, but she normally does this really big speech that's really sad. But right here, she just accepted that you're evil, which is fucking crazy. Ha ha ha! You're not really human, are you? No. You're empty inside. Just like me. In fact, you're Scooch, right? We're still inseparable after all these years. 
Listen, I have a plan to become all-powerful. Even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world. Everyone. Everything in these worthless memories. Let's turn them all to dust. That was weird. I don't think I've ever heard that... That voice. Holy hell! Holy hell! Isn't there a camera in here? There is, right? There's a camera hidden in the bushes! That's where, uh... Where Alpheus watches me, right? By the way, if I keep referring to things that you don't know, uh... Go watch the full playthrough of the pacifist route, because that's how I know everything. I already beat the game once, but in a completely different way, and there's a lot of differences, but I do know all the characters already. Just letting you know, just an FYI. Anyways, let's keep walking. This is where I run into Sans. Is, is he mad already? Is Sans already gonna be like a super angry person? Holy moly. Sans! Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the whole will be cushion in a hand trick. It's always funny. That's, uh, your cue to laugh. Or, uh, to emote at all? Gee, lady, you really know how to pick them, huh? Okay, that's fine. Everyone's got their own sense of humor. I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bar is too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. I'm going. Uh, okay. I guess you don't have to. This is different. Sans, have you found a human yet? Uh, yeah. Really? Wowee! Guess that's settled. <laughs> that worked. That worked out, huh? Are you just gonna stare at me, or... Wow, I'm already a completely different, like... I'm already a completely different, like, the game's already completely changed. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Oh, it's his hot dog stand. Well, I'll be straightforward with you. My brother'd really like to see a human. So, you know, it'd really help me out if you kept pretending to be one. All the music is fucked up because I'm doing the genocide route. 16 left. 16, like, 16 monsters I have to kill left in this area? Well, that's cool that they give me that, so now I understand that I could do that. But holy shit! This genocide route is gonna get more and more depressing. I am kind of at a loss for the Toriel thing that happened, but I am excited to see what else they added to change the game so much. So let's just keep on trekking through it. Thank you for watching this series. If you like it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, or do whatever you can to remind me that I'm spooky because I think that you're spooky too and you have a spooky face and I hope you have a spooky day. Until the next episode, I will see you again. God, it's oddly depressing, but I, it's enticing, you know?